Falco recently moved to a rental property out west, and today she shares the decor decisions she's made and the ones she's delayed. Hey guys, welcome to my new home in beautiful British Columbia. Care to come inside? Let's go. Hey pipes! To me, there is nothing that screams I'm not settled into my new place more than windows that don't have window treatments. The very first thing I wanted to do when we moved in was cover all of these windows up. Not because I don't absolutely love the view, can you blame me? But because it doesn't feel comfortable and at night it's a black hole, you feel like a spectacle and that you're in a hotel room. So I always opt for super affordable cellular shades. Not only are they so easy to install, they're very affordable. So if you do leave them behind in your rental, it's not really a thing to cry over or you can bring them with you. They're really easy to pop off. Especially given the view, when I first caught a glimpse of this window ledge, my initial reaction was to get a big, massive custom bench seat made and upholstered, but that's very pricey and I'm not sure how long we're gonna be in this space. So rather than get something that's only catered to this one area for the rest of time, I decided to use what I already had on hand, books, and not only protect the ledge with them so that I'm a very good tenant, you're welcome landlords, but it adds some personality, it infuses some fun into the space, adds some color, and if you ever do want to take a seat, you can just stack them up, remove them, and configure it however you like. If your new space does require you to buy new furniture, especially bigger investment items, think modular, think stylistically broad, and think neutral color-wise. That way you're not overly matching this space so that when you do bring it into your next home, it's still gonna fit. We are replacing this sofa with one that is much larger. However, we're getting no sectional, just one long sofa with two modular ottomans so that we can place it anywhere we want in this home, in a future home, and we know it's gonna fit no matter what. The view. I mean, your new place looks absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. Um, now you're going to show us how you organized your pantry because a lot of yes. organization had to take place. And I love hearing from a designer sort of how you've made these fixes in a rental. Exactly. Right? Like it's important to see that because there are a lot of people renting and they want the place to be comfortable and beautiful and fantastic, yep. but not necessarily permanent. And you don't want to waste your money at the same right. time. So investing in things that you can take with you is a smart idea, but in your pantry, we just have shelves. It's all yes. doors and shelves. There's no pull-outs, there's no organization, there's no built-ins. Right. And I had that in my old space because I owned, so I renovated yeah. it to that way. So this is kind of all hacks, whether you're renting or you, maybe you have a kitchen where you don't want to spend the money to put in yeah. pull-out drawers in a pantry or you can't afford it. Yeah. This is all great ways to do that. Okay. So the very first most important thing that you can do in your pantry is give everything a home. Yes. Not only does it organize it, but it helps you take inventory so that if you have a million cracker boxes. <laughs> I'm so guilty of having like three Triscuits left. Right. And I think I have a whole box. Always. And then I go to serve a dinner party and I'm like, oh crap. Right? And you can't see it. So the yeah. whole point of these are awesome. They help preserve and maintain the freshness oh, nice. of things um, through that technology. Okay. And I love that it's just simple. You can organize things like pasta. They have a size for anything you could possibly need. Love it. So decant, decant, decant. Yes. Take it all out. Put Absolutely. it in something pretty. Especially to space save because boxes take up space. You can't see what's in them. That's Not only right. does it look good, you open your pantry, you can see. It's also inspiring. Yeah. Um, you know, if you don't know what to make for breakfast, if you open your pantry and you see your nuts and your seeds and your chia and all that good You'll stuff. You'll use it. It might inspire you. Absolutely. Absolutely. We actually have some shots, um, some uh, video of your pantry that yes. you took for us. Thank you yes. very much. Let's look at that right now so we can get a sense of um, how your pantry works at home. You didn't want special built-ins done, so look at that. Yes, and the next secret is baskets. Yes. So in lieu of getting pull-out drawers that yeah. are custom built to the sides and they have you know, their casters and everything, baskets are such a great alternative. Mm -hmm. Specifically ones that have a rectangular base, so not yep. necessarily round, because once again, space saving. Yes. And ones that have cutout handles. So they yeah. operate the same way, you can pull at them. So right. even if they go all the way flush, because you want to contain as much stuff as possible, you can you still, still get, get your hand them. in there and it functions the same way. Very good functionality. Yes. Think about that as well. Absolutely. And you've also done the same thing, but with clear. Yeah, so this is for more in the fridge. Um, uh, right. This is all from Bed Bath & Beyond, and they have so many great accessories, like for berries. Mm -hmm. Once again, taking them out of the package they came in, putting them in your own, not only helps you organize, but it looks really good, and you can contain things so that you're not 
having to remove every jar to get the jar at the end. That's right. This way, if they're all contained in one thing, if yep. you're trying to go for your ketchup at the back of the fridge, you can pull out the whole thing just right. to grab it rather than scrounging. I love it. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so what would you use these cute items these for? are for spices. I ah. actually don't have a dedicated spice drawer, so yeah. I just have an open shelf and I put everything on them. I have a little Lazy Susan. Nice. Ooh, that one does not have, <laughs> it needs some oil there. Lazy <laughs> yeah. Susan. But I think it's just a nice way to, they're just cupcake. Um, tears. Holders, yeah, nice. but thinking about things that are for the pantry and kitchen that maybe aren't even necessarily intended for the pantry or kitchen. Lovely. Always shop outside of the department Absolutely. you're looking for. Yes. Like these might be for what? Magazines, books. What yep. are these for? This is from an office section in Bed Bath and Beyond. Once Excellent. again, and I use it for things in my pantry at the bottom, like. Mostly I'll do garlic and potatoes and my onions in those kinds of baskets, yep. but there are certain spices or um, like pre-mixed, like yeah. for ranch dressing, if yes. you want to get the powdered mix, you yeah. can stack them all and layer it. Once again, that you can pull out and it's organized for you. Lovely. Okay, so this is a great way to stack up your trays. Yes. I used, used to have them all underneath my oven, but I love cooking and yeah. I now have a collection of 17 different <laughs> accessories and <laughs> items and even though they're all flat pack and they're meant to save space, yeah. I have a big corner cabinet, one of those really annoying ones that doesn't have a big Lazy Susan in it. Right. So I loved this because it was super narrow and these you can actually place wherever you like. So if you have a cupcake uh, tray, for example, they're thicker than, you know, uh, a pan and you can place them wherever you like. That is so cool. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so tray Trays is the lesson here, trays. Trays, oh, this, one moves. this one, I know, once again, a little Lazy Ooh, Susan like action, that. which is fantastic if you have just open shelving and you don't have those pullouts. Yeah. But this is more about giving things a home on your countertop. Oh. Um, this is actually for butter. I okay. have one at home. Um, you take it out like this, ah. you pack the butter in it. Yes. And it's just, it's so pretty. I think vessels and jars and ceramics and having things that you have to have out on your counter, like salt and pepper and oil, giving them a beautiful home. Because they're going to be there, you may as well make it look good. They're going to be there yeah. all the time. And once again, this is actually something I use for my utensils. Oh, nice. So you can get really beautiful jars, but if you don't have a ton of space, yeah. and maybe you just moved and you're a little tight for money, yeah. you can keep things in functional objects. Lovely. So you would use this in the kitchen anyhow. It does double duty. You can stack all of your beautiful wood bowl scrapers yeah. and spatulas in there. And they're easy to get and easy to get exactly. at. Exactly. Organizing inside your drawers, we know, is always a good yes. idea because so these, you're going to find everything easily. Yeah, and they've existed forever. Yeah. But we now have ones that are expandable, oh, which is pretty awesome because you can get that very custom cool. look. Yes. It looks like it's built in, it looks expensive, but they're 10 bucks. I love it. Okay, so I love seeing the way you have organized your pantries. Coming up next, you're actually going to see the pantries of Gwyneth Paltrow and Chloe oh. Kardashian. They look just like Sabrina's. That's coming up next. Thank you, Sabrina. <laughs>